Daryl Lennington here and I'm at Amazon Web Services Summit in Cape Town, South Africa where I've met with Chris Short who's the IT manager for Pick and Pay. Now Chris can you tell me why Amazon Web Services? What, what is Pick and Pay using the services of Amazon of AWS for? So as a retailer we have quite thin margins. We have to look at costs so we can do the best for our customers on price. In terms of running our IT infrastructure, we looked for a partner that could help us really reduce costs and also help us with do things faster and in a more agile way. And AWS actually gives us that in both our customer-facing mobile app re-architecture as well as our online e-com platform that we've moved into the cloud with them. Okay. So, so give me some examples of what Pick and Pay and AWS are, are doing together. So essentially we have a team of guys who work with the AWS architects. They help us understand their various services that they offer. We then harness those services both in the development, testing and deployment cycles of the solutions we build. And at the same time then obviously we look at the economics and how we commercially run the platform at a decent cost. And that's essentially what, uh, how we work together as partners. Okay, so what, what made Pick and Pay choose AWS? Well, essentially if you look at uh, you know, owning infrastructure and the cost of infrastructure is, is, is not something that we as a retailer should be doing because what we do is we sell things to customers that really need them and essentially they offer us the ability to harness the scale that they bring uh, to our advantage and therefore to our customers advantage and as a leader in the marketplace you know you always look at the ones that are up as leaders um, you see what they're doing you see how well they fit to what you're trying to achieve and based on that we found that AWS were were a great fit in that in, the, in that in that way and and the other thing is that they're actually really easy to work with you know we really enjoy working with them they they're innovative they're fast and I guess their culture is that and it sort of rubs off on on how we want to work with them and, and you know as we innovate for our customers, uh, they help us do that. Okay. So moving away from the services that Amazon Web Services actually provides pick and pay, we have a hackathon going on. How are you guys getting involved with that? So one of my infrastructure architects is uh, very passionate about uh, how we can use the Internet of Things and how we can use uh, internet and networks, if you like, to make lives better and also to improve the efficiencies we can harness in the business. He experiments a lot at home uh, with these things and so he's, he's bringing his expertise and learnings and, and experiences of doing things in his home and, and with us at work uh, to the hackathon as an, as an input and also for people to kind of guide and learn from. So just to finalize things, uh, those customers who walk into your brick and mortar stores, what can they expect from Pick and Pay in the near future when it comes to Amazon Web Services, cloud and IoT? I guess almost the best way to describe that is that they won't notice and I think that's th th that's a brilliant offering in terms of AWS. We know about AWS and we use AWS but fortunately it, it's not something that the customers need to know about, it's not something that they have to know about, it's not something that they necessarily notice. What they will notice though is that we are able to do things a lot faster, we'll give them new things, new services, new ways of working, new ways of interacting with us, much more personal engagement at speed and I think they'll see us innovating for them much more clearly. Perfect, thank you very much for your time. I'm Daryl Linnington and I'm at the AWS Summit in Cape Town, South Africa. I'll catch you guys in the next video, cheers.